So today's video is about finding sales tax, tips, discounts, commissions, and markups. So we got a lot to do in this video today. And everything that we're doing in this video today is about money. So let's start with sales tax. What is sales tax? Sales tax is a tax imposed by the government at the point of sale on retail goods and services. It's collected by the retailer and passed on to the, store, on to the state. So basically what it is, is the government makes you pay a tax when you buy something from a store. And so it's basically money that's added on to the cost of your item. So how do you calculate sales tax? Well, it's a percentage of your total bill. So the fine sales tax, you're going to change the tax percent to a decimal, then multiply it with the cost of the items you're buying. So let's look at example one. Jack decided to buy a new shirt at Macy's. The price of the shirt was $28.50. The sales tax was 7%. How much did he pay for the shirt after tax? Well, the first step is to change the tax percent to a decimal. So we're going to change 7% to 7 hundredths. Then the second step is to multiply the decimal by the cost of the item. So we're going to multiply 7 hundredths times the $28.50 that he's paying for the shirt, which gives us 1 and 995 thousandths. But because this is money, we need to round to the nearest cent, which means we would round this to $2, which means that he's going to pay $2 in sales tax. So the question said, how much did he pay for the shirt after tax? So to figure out how much he paid after tax means we're going to take the tax amount and add that to the cost of the shirt. So since the tax is $2, Jack is going to pay $30.50 for the shirt. The next thing we're going to talk about are called tips or sometimes called gratuity. And what is a tip? It's money given to show appreciation for someone who is serving you. Tips are usually given to people like waiters and waitresses when you go to a restaurant, um, your hairstylist or your barber, if you go get your car washed and the guys actually wash your car, um, or people like that. Anyone who does a service for you, you're supposed to give them a tip to show that you appreciate them serving you. So how do you calculate tips? So a tip is a percentage of your total bill. So to calculate tip, you're going to change the percent to a decimal, multiply the percent by the total of your bill. So let's look at example two. You and three friends went out to eat. Your total bill was $48.85. You decide to leave the waiter a 20% tip. How much money will you leave the server? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the percent to a decimal. So 20% will become 20 hundredths. Then our next step is we're going to multiply the decimal by our total bill. So we're going to do 20 hundredths times $48.85, which gives us $9.77. So that means we're going to leave the server a $9.77 tip. Most people will actually just round that up to $10. The next thing we're going to talk about are called discounts. What is a discount? A discount is money subtracted from the original price of an item on sale. So I'm sure many of you have gone shopping with your parents or even shopping with your friends and seen big sale signs in the front of a store saying that everything's on sale or all these items are 30% off or 40% off. Well, those are called discounts. That means that when you get to the cash register, you're actually going to save money. Um, the, the cost of the item is not going to be the same as what's on the sticker price. So how do you calculate a discount? Well, because it, it's also a percentage, you're going to calculate discounts. You're going to change the percent to a decimal, then multiply it by the original price of the item. And that's going to be your discount, which basically means that's how much money you're going to save. Now, if, you, if you're asked for the sale price after the discount, well, because that's the money you're saving, then you're actually going to subtract the discount from the original price. So at Foot Locker, they're having a 20% off sale on sneakers. You decide to buy a pair of sneakers that originally cost $128. What is the cost of the sneakers after the discount? So the first thing you got to figure out is, well, how much money are you going to save? You know you're saving 20%, but that doesn't mean $20. So we've got to figure out what is 20% of 128. So we're going to change the percent to a decimal, and then we're going to multiply the decimal by the original price. So we're going to multiply 20 hundredths times 128, which means we're going to save $25.60. Now to find the sale price, that means we've got to actually take the discount and subtract it from the original price because that's how much money they're going to take off of the price of the sneakers. 
So the original price was $128, and we're going to subtract our discount of $25.60, which means that we're now going to pay $102.40 for the sneakers. So after the discounts, but after the discount, the sneakers will cost $102.40. So commissions. What are commissions? Commissions are paid to a salesperson for selling an item. So many times if you're a car salesman or if you sell furniture or jewelry, the store is actually going to pay you for getting someone to buy um, to buy an item from your store. So let's say you're a car salesman and you go and you get someone to actually buy a car. Well, you're actually going to make money off of making that sale. And those are called commissions. So commissions are a percentage. So usually they're going to get a certain percentage of the sale. So to calculate commissions, again, we're going to change the percent to a decimal, then multiply the decimal by the price of the item that you sold. So, example four, a car salesman receives 15% commission off of every car he sells. He just sold a car for $32,000. How much did the car salesman make in commission? Well, the first thing we want to do is change the percent to a decimal. So we're going to change 15% to 1500. Then we're going to multiply the decimal by the price of the item sold. Well, we know the car was 32000 and he's going to make 15%. So we're going to multiply 32000 times 1500 which means he's going to receive $4,800. So the car dealership is going to actually give this salesman $4,800 for selling the car. So next are called markups. What are markups? So markups are the amount of money a seller charges the customer above how much it costs the seller to make or buy the item. So markups are kind of a complicated thing. Um, some things you got to know is what's called wholesale. So let's say you decide that you want to be a t-shirt salesman. Well, in order for you to be a t-shirt salesman, you're going to have to buy some materials. You're going to need to buy the actual shirts that you're going to sell. And then you're going to actually have to buy the ink that you're going to use to put some kind of a design on the shirt that you're going to sell to your customers. Now, of course, if you were to sell the shirt for the same amount of money that it cost you to actually make the shirt, then that means you don't really make any money. If you were to have to pay $5 for the shirt, and then you have to pay another dollar for the ink to put the image on the shirt. And then you, that means it costs you six dollars to make the shirt. Well, if you only sold the shirt for six dollars, and that means you basically didn't make any money. And at the end of the day, people sell, people go into business to make money. So what they end up, so what you would end up doing is you are actually going to charge more for the shirt than what it costs you to make it. Now, the cost for you to make the shirt is called your wholesale price. So it's the amount of money that you pay for the item before you sell it to the customer. But then the markup is how much you marked the price up so that you could make a profit. And a profit is the amount of money that you, the seller, make after you calculate your expenses. So. Markups are the amount of money a seller charges the customer above how much it costs the seller to make the item. What is a wholesale price? It's the amount of money the seller pays for the item before they sell it to the customer. How do you, how do you calculate markups? To calculate markups, you change the percent to a decimal, then multiply it by the cost to make the item. Now, sometimes they're not going to tell you the percent of markup. Sometimes you'll be asked to find the percent of markup, and you can accomplish this by finding the percent of change, which you learned about in another video. So example five, a store pays $7 wholesale for a dress. That means in order for the, safe, in order for the company, the store, to get the dress that they're actually going to sell in the store, they had to pay someone else $7 for it. Now they want to sell the shirt to you and they want to make some money. So they want to mark the dress up 88% in order to sell it. How much will the store sell the dress for? So the first thing you have to do is change the percent to a decimal. So we're going to change 88% to a decimal which will give us 88 hundredths. Then we want to multiply the decimal by the wholesale cost of the item. Well the wholesale cost of the item was $7 and we said we're going to mark it up 88%. So we're going to multiply 88 hundredths 
times seven, which means we're gonna mark the dress up $6.16. And then the final step is we've gotta add the $6.16 that we're gonna mark up the dress to the cost that we had to buy the dress for. So that means we had to buy the dress for seven and then we're gonna mark the price up $6.16, which means we're gonna sell the dress to you for $13.16. So the store is gonna sell the dress for $13.16. So they bought it for seven and they're selling it for $13.16 and that's the only way that they'll be able to make a profit. So example six says, it costs you $5 to buy the materials to make t-shirts. You plan to sell the shirts for $15. What is the percent markup for the shirts? So you bought the shirts for five. It costs you $5 to make the shirts that you're gonna sell and you decide when you get them in your store that you're gonna sell them for $15. So we're trying to figure out the percent markup. So to do this, we're gonna to have to find the percent of change. And if you remember, to find the percent of change, the first thing we have to do is figure out the amount of change. So we're gonna, we know that the shirts were originally $5, that's how much it cost us, and we're selling them for 15, so the amount of change would be 10. Then you're gonna divide the amount of change by the original amount. Well, we know that the amount of change was 10, and then the original cost of the item was $5, so that means when we divide it, we'll get two. Now we're going to change that decimal or that number to a percent and even though we don't see the decimal we know the decimal is going to start after the two and we're still going to move it two places which would give us 200 percent. So what that means is that you're going to mark the shirt up 200 percent. So the one thing you want to keep in mind is that percent um, that markups, discounts, sales tax, tips, commissions, they all deal with money and for most of them, it pretty much has the same steps, changing the percent to a decimal and then multiplying.